The conflict between the church and the Jura Forest seems to be over for now. God Luna showed up. Last episode's title was The God and a Demon Lord, right? But what if a Demon Lord was an actual God? That's pretty much what Luminous was. Luminous used some crazy attacks. We were doing some crazy shit too. And yeah, Bilzebub did just sacrifice, but it's still back because Raphael made a copy, a backup. Now, in terms of the luminaries, six out of the seven are dead. But the last one was actually Roto family head. And I'm going to assume that the other Roto families are not luminaries, so they're not dead, right? I'm sure they have other different important identities. And the Mario Bell of Greed. I wonder if they're going to play into the theme of the seven deadly sins. And she's like a demon, but that's like a part of the sins. I don't know much about the demons other than like the demon nobility, the demon society that Annie is kind of made about Diablo and stuff. And Diablo was also amazing last episode. But so far, I haven't heard of like seven deadly sins just yet in the demon society thing. Maybe we're fucking going normal at this and she just calls herself greed and we're fucking reaching. But hey, it is what it is. I expect today's episode to be a fleshed out episode of the visuals we saw in the ending, which was basically eating gyoza, ramen, hot spring, trying to peek, everyone just having a fun time after party kind of meeting episode, right? Let's begin today's reaction. What's so still? Demon Lord, Demon Peer. They did fuck up. We're allied now. They fucked up so hard. I swear to fucking God. No, get... Grucius? This cuck does not deserve to be in the same fucking panel as these fucking five, bro. I, I, I'm I fine with fucking Mulan there. What the fuck is Grucius the cuck doing here, bro? I guess we're trying to highlight fucking Falmuth and yeah, Grucius comes in as a fucking pair whenever you fucking mention Yom. But anyways, don't tell me that these dudes are going to be like, hmm, yes, we failed all of our plan. Yes, you know, they have a new nation, they have allies, but <laughs> this is all according to my plans. I swear to God, dude, if the Rotsu family fucking does this shit. Everyone's gonna lay low. No, 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 wait. Why wouldn't bro want to just like kind of work with Rimuru and Hinata and like Luminous now, right? Because like we have a new nation the economic hub is rising. It would be in the Eastern Merchant's best interest to kind of ally with the side of money and like it's Roto family that worth it. I feel like you should kind of just bandwagon and join our side, bro. Yeah, bro's like, chill, hold up. That's you, not me. I'm just here for money. <laughs> Someone else is coming. Jana. Will he? Will he not? <laughs> that seemed kind of disrespectful. I don't think Maribel is like a child, right? Like, she's probably old as fuck, so just the head pat here just seems so rude. <laughs> Nah, bro, your fault. It, it's your fucking problem. It's your fault for believing in a merchant because a merchant's only ties are with money. Whatever is most profitable, they'll side with that. Rotso, bro, you were kind of falling off. If I was that guy, if I was Ramdara, I'd be like, you know what? I want to head over to fucking Jura Tempest and, you know, enjoy some fucking ramen with them. <laughs> Cap. Oh! 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 Table! Oh! Oh! PTSD! Oh! We're going to meetings! Are you guys ready? Are y'all ready for some heavy ass dialogue with the table? Oh, here we go. Reconciliation and agreements. Fun fact. Remember last episode how I asked like what does a cloistered emperor mean and we did a whole thing? And then I was like, oh, cloister actually just means like the person that's hidden, right? Because obviously he's supposed to be hidden. Now, do you guys know where I'm going with this? There's a certain Pokemon named Cloister. And if you look at Cloister, he's also hidden, right? Cloister hides in this shell. Cloister, get it? It's all meant to be. He's hidden Pokemon. Get it? It's 
I thought it was like a little fun little I don't know. It's just like a little fun. Kono Rui no Ototo Roy de Chuyo do Kiren no Laplas ni Korosarita Sula. Laplas Giga Chad. Crusaders ni Shazai Sta. Oreta to a Hinata Samo Sinji. Uh oh. Uh oh. They're gonna be like, uh, what's his name from last episode? Uh, not Alexander. Hinata's number one simp. Fuck. What was his name? Roberto? No. Nicolaus. Yeah. Nicolaus is like, hmm. God? My only god is Hinata. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Hinataism is happening, bro. Hinataism! Let's go. 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 so it's so funny how like our biggest antagonist right now, it's not really the biggest antagonist, but like the Eastern merchants have been so getting hyped up so far and they're kind of like playing such a big role. And if you think about it, it does make sense because like we're also just trying to establish like trade routes and become like an economic hub. So we're like a merchants and our fucking opposing, you know, antagonist or just like the fucking other merchants. Yeah, taking care of the kids. Mauhaki! I don't think he's trying to. He accidentally let it out. Basically, it's the merchant sure kind of making claim and control over them. Yep. And collusion. We need to get the Eastern merchants! Clayman's Damrata gave it, right? Man, I didn't even catch that part, huh? I actually didn't... Maybe I did if I go back to the reaction. Maybe I asked about, like, who is he, but, like, it was already mentioned back then. Yeah? I, 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 am I crazy? I, I thought the seven days were literally... How ignorant could she be? She's too busy being fucking naked and looking at the fucking cryogenic chamber of the hero, bro. She's too busy just getting all horny at that fucking chamber and has no idea what the fuck is happening outside. <laughs> this is the scene. <laughs> this is the fucking thumbnail I used in the trailer, too. This is the fucking, you know, the context of it. Your favorite, in other words, your love energy? What is love energy? What the fuck? The luminaries? You gave them your love energy, though. And they stopped aging. What? That doesn't explain what love energy is, though! They didn't want others to get the same love energies? Really? Pretty much, they fucking hate you. <laughs> and while that may be true, and Nicholas did do that, it doesn't change the fact that the soul was kind of... Back to Rotsu. So, like, how does that work? So, the soul can simply just move back and forth so easily, huh? So, when Rotsu family needs to do his fucking meetings, you know, at his home and his, you know, fucking wine, he puts the soul back and then the seventh luminary body just goes somewhere and hides and then he can basically then swap the soul back into the body whenever they need to do that. Like, both back and forth like that, huh? Anytime he wants. ディスイントグレイト。ディスイントグレイト。ディスイントグレイト。ディスイントグレイト。ディスイントグレイト。ディスイントグレイト。ディスイントグレイト。ディスイントグレイト。ディスイントグレイト。ディスイントグレイト。
perfect fate. It sounds like every people that says they're heroes, you know, it's like, it's bad later on. Uh oh. Uh oh. Is this a prophecy? Like a law of this world? One second. And we're back. Here we go. Yuki. <laughs> he is just so fucking ignorant. If don't He's so close. I mean he literally just figured out Luminous is the actual real demon lord and Ray Valentine Roy Valentine was the fake one, right? He's a little slow. I mean clearly the author's intense in making him be slow like the ああ、状況から考えれば一番疑わない。シェアリー。勇気が黒幕ね。絶対に違うとは言わんのかあら、私はあらゆる可能性を考慮しているだけ。シュージャスイアラ。想定だと思うわよ。あ、そうだな。
Mel Slash versus us at the end. I mean, the sword really got in the way. The sword donated her afterwards. We could have technically used fucking Uriel ultimate guard against Mel Slash, and that probably would have worked. But Raphael was fucking trolling. But I'm fine with the draw. <laughs> Hinata's gonna get like I don't know her her if she like drew with the, with the demon lord it's better than I mean it's not as good as like defeating one it's better than losing though so it's like she's gonna be like a bigger legend and like I bet Masayuki has defeated a demon lord in the past right 100% right like this guy is like supposed to be the fucking goat right now so I'm gonna just believe in my head canon that he has. <laughs> She keeps looking at Soe. She keeps looking at Soe. She keeps looking at Soe. Dude, she wants that monster dick. But that seems to be discrimination born from prejudice. Looks at like Soe immediately. Yep, I love interracial. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, yeah. Tie me up more. Gabiru sister. Okay. Gazal mentioned he, he'll help this. <laughs> Alright. What are we gonna have? You know, like in churches, they have like a statue of like Jesus Christ or something? Like, do you think that we'd like, I don't know, mold a statue for like Luminous or like Hirata or something? Oh, the sword again. The Dragon Slayer. The original sword! What? <laughs> Did Kurobe do something to it? Or do we like actually just like do it all by ourselves right here? So this is like the round one fight that we did we absorbed back in the day. Legend grey weapon like the moonlight I gave you. It's sure to be better than the everyday use of the legend grade weapon. This is even better than that, huh? Okay. Stay the night. Hot springs, ramen, food. Oh, means that the sword moonlight, the legendary moonlight is too OP for daily use. So just use that instead. Gotcha. Have we seen moonlight actually? Have we seen moonlight ever be used so far? Or are they hyping up a new weapon that we haven't even seen yet? <laughs> Okay, oh, hot spring time! Yeah, okay, here we go! Party time! Let's go! This is the ending from last episode. Huh? Oh, this is... Oh, this, 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 this is last night? This is last night? Hold up, hold up, hold up. So this is round two of dinner, and last night's, yesterday's dinner was the ending in last episode. We literally can't get drunk, right? Really? <laughs> Wait, you can do that? Because, like, we can't get, you know, we can't have no more fun no more because poison nullification, but she's like, I intentionally weakened it. Smart? White rice! Oh my god! What? White rice is going crazy? Yeah, Japanese food every day, baby. Ooh, wouldn't want to live here. Rumors from Yuki. We're gonna have a manga publishing company here soon. Oh. Oh. 
まずはね、俺たちを人間社会で認知させることな国のお偉いさんたちが俺たちのことを知るに至ったし、商人や暴君たちが安心安全な攻撃を受けたのに、ゲルダスティルファキングワークにそこで着目したのが年功しとも。We're gonna create a phone. Wire, cup wire, string, phone. We're gonna have a phone. You should just create an internet. We, we, we should literally just create technology computers, the internet. Can, can he do that? Okay. I mean, this is pretty much just telecom right now. These are small towers. Like, we're changing information. Like, this is the foundation for it. And the angels are getting mad, bro. Tenma War, it's happening. They're gonna get smartphones, bro. They're gonna get iPhones. Will it, though? Because, like, the angels are be like, what the fuck? These motherfuckers are creating the internet phone lines. All right, we gotta go down Tenma War time. あの、ハムシドも。ファイングインセクト。ファイングインセクト。ファイングインセクト。ファイングインセクト。ファイングインセクト。ファイングインセクト。ファイングインセクト。ファイングインセクト。ファイングインセクト。ファイングインセクト。
I want to visit the East too. I want to see Misha. Which one is that? Another Eastern merchant? Orthrus. The keywords being mentioned slave trade, Orthrus. Should we also release the rare monster we're sending to Echidna? These are different regions. Now what, Yuki? Kazarim。I just thought I gave him a chance to achieve something. Oh, Masayuki. Masayuki? Masayuki? Is Yuki sending Masayuki to take that Orthrus to keep him busy? Wait, 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 wait. Him! Him! Who is him? Masayuki? Why Kagari? New name? Until my revenge on Leon is... I didn't know this part. I didn't know Kazarim and Leon Cromwell. Maybe this is missed details from the early seasons, but... Leon Cromwell basically defeated Mao Kazarim in the past, and now Kazarim has a revenge, and now Kazarim is still sealed until my revenge on Leon is complete. Leon Cromwell, when you come back into the story, she is Kagari for now. I don't think Kagari's gonna beat Leon, though. That's today's episode of fucking meetings, man. Sorry, that, that was... Honestly, it wasn't even that bad. Like, it, it felt pretty concise, and it kind of hit all the... Tones. Like, like the earlier meetings when we were talking about this like fucking slab of rock and how it's gonna be used for transport that's just kind of boring but like sometimes there's like really interesting meeting talk obviously with the church the rotso with the damrada you know us having a little bit of a party as well as masayuki with you know damrada and then you know, kagari too this is actually very interesting kind of yapping so this is when like the content is actually engaging, even though there's no combat. So today's episode, I think it's a pretty great episode. What is the plot relevance of today's episode? Um, peace. There is peace between us and the Holy Church, and they're going to acknowledge the Dwarven Kingdom as like a nation of humans. Everything is looking good. Rimuru kind of leaks about super important information about how we're basically setting up telecoms and crazy information networking. So this is going to be crazy. And mentioning of angels as well. As the civilization grows, the angels are going to come strike down. And then there's some interesting dialogue with Yuki here saying about you know orthrus taking down orthrus by sending in masayuki and then there was another thing mentioned i forgot but basically kagari also has like a revenge on mao or leon cromwell but i don't think my boy leon's gonna go down that fucking easy right peanut turn we would also it's officially a draw and that's it for me if you're still here if you didn't enjoy this reaction please like the video check out the other playlist for more content and until next time take care